Mm-hmm. You know, I don't know if y'all have ever heard the truly inside the mind of a psychopath. Um, but that conversation between Donald Trump and Roethlisberger, the full, the full content is really quite scary. And what, in my opinion, is even more scarier is the fact that there's over 70 million people that this conversation sounds normal. The gaslighting, the projection, the just straight out lies, the criminality of the whole thing. And to think that there are some people that can't make up their mind about what sounds normal and what doesn't sound normal. Now, let, let, let me ask a serious question. Let's just take away the, the, the things that divide us. Let's take away the Democrat title and throw it in the garbage can. And then let's take the title of Republican and throw it in the garbage can. So now where do you stand? What do you have? Because you don't have Democrat and you don't have the Republican. Okay? Those are vices and tools used to divide us. Okay? And so now we're in a situation where we're being driven and divided by a family whose pure and simple goal is to conjure up lies all in the name of the big lie. And for all of you black people out there condoning this and saying that this person is should run again in 2024, I, I really question your sanity. I really question who you are and what kind of dog do you got in the fight. So it's not enough that uh, Donald Trump did what he did to the Central Park Five. It's not enough that he's sitting here endorsing white supremacy. Jews will not a place replace us. Uh, there were good people on both sides. And because you getting a few dollars, you're willing to overlook all of this craziness and campaign for a person who's psychotic. Why won't the mental health doctors be appreciated in their finding and their standing on Donald Trump? How come they've been silenced? How come they've been blackballed from giving you an honest in this? Uh, and they were put on back burner when he first won in 2016. That they were not able to talk about his character and his, the way his brain worked. How can a twice impeached oh, uh, this is insanity. And I want to say for any of my black people that's out here leading your people to the slaughter, because you already, and they already have a hard time of dealing with this politics in the first place. And if you, and I'm, I'm at Angela Statton, I'm at you, anybody else, Candace Owens, all of y'all should be totally ashamed of yourself, but reckoning day is coming for you as well. Because anytime you stand behind a demagogue like this, and like I said, put away the Democrat and the Republican sign. These are not good people. How can you take an advertisement out of full page ad asking for the death of teenagers when what you said was a lie and you never corrected it even to this day. And as black women, y'all overlook that. Because somebody gave y'all a free butter, some butter biscuits. When people don't have so <laughs> don't have souls, <coughs> you can look in their eyes. Lights on, nobody home. You don't see a sign of life. They're stoic, their eyes are dark, just like their hearts. And anybody 
look at Jared Kushner. He's a dark spirit. I, I, and for those that don't see it, it's like I, I see, yet I remain blind. I'm afraid that if you lead my people to the slaughter, if we get a hold to you, nobody, nobody should be shocked if they, um, you know, whatever happens to you. Because now you in this, this is a situation where people have to draw a line in the sand. You have to take away the titles and draw a line in the sand. And tell me, do you stand on the side of, the side of insanity or do you stand on the side of sanity? Which one is it? Because you can't have it both ways. As I listen to that conversation, as a matter of fact, let me see if I can just play a few seconds of it for you. Ballot, uh, again, you know, you'll have to tell me about the provisional ballots, but we have uh, a lot of people that were complaining that they weren't able to vote because they were already voted for. These are great people. And, uh, you know, they were shell-shocked. I don't know if you call that provisional ballots. In some states, we had a lot of provisional ballot uh, situations where people were given a provisional ballot because when they walked into November 3rd, they were already voting for, voting for So that's it. I mean, we have uh, many, many times the number of, uh, of votes necessary to win the state. And we won the state and we won it very substantially and easily. And we're, we're getting... So we why do you have to ask him for a few more already, votes? You know, they're certified. If you uh, Far easy. more are certified than we need. But we're getting additional numbers certified too, and we're getting uh, pictures of drop boxes being delivered and delivered late, and delivered three days later in some cases. Plus, we have many affidavits to that effect. So, Mr. President, if I if I might be able to jump in, and I'll give Brad a chance. To, uh, Mr. Secretary, uh, one of obviously uh, there is now. Remember, that's Mark Meadows. That's the one that was so good friends with Elijah, with Elijah uh, Cummings. The one that said, you know, he don't have a racist bone in his body. Remember him? Mark Meadows? I believe that's him speaking right now. There are allegations where we believe that uh, not every vote or fair vote and legal vote was, was counted. Uh, that at odds with the representation from the Secretary of State's office. Uh, what I'm hopeful for is, is there some way that we can, we can find, uh, some kind of agreement to, to, uh, to look at this a little bit more fully. Uh, you know, the president mentioned Fulton County, but in some of these areas where there seems to be uh, a difference, uh, of, where the facts uh, seem to lead. And so, Mr. Secretary, I was uh, hopeful that, you know, in a spirit of uh, cooperation and compromises, there, there's something that uh, we can at least have a discussion to look at some of these allegations uh, to, uh, to find a, a path forward that's less litigious. Well, uh, I've listened to Mr. what the president has just said. President Trump, um, there's a free massage I can give him my passport information. We've had several lawsuits and we had to respond in court to the lawsuits and the contention. Um, we don't agree that you have one. We don't, you know, I didn't agree about the 200,000 number that you mentioned. And I go through that point by point. What we have done is we gave our state senate uh, about one and a half hours of, of our time going through the election issue by issue. And then on the state house, uh, the government affairs committee, we gave them about two and a half hours of our time going back point by point on all the issues of contention. And then uh, just a few days ago, we met with uh, our U.S. congressman, Republican congressman, uh, and we gave them about two hours of our time uh, talking about this past election. Uh, going back, primarily what you're 
like you talked about, you're focusing on primarily, I believe, that the absolute thought process. I don't believe that you're really questioning the, uh, the, the Dominion machine because we did a hand retally, a 100% retally of all the ballots and compared that to what the machine said and, and came up with virtually the same result. Then we did the recount and we got virtually the same result. So I guess we could probably take that off the table. I don't think there's an issue about that. Um, I think what well, you're well, Brad, Brad, um, not that there's not an issue, but because we have a big issue with Dominion and other states and perhaps in yours, but we, have, we haven't felt we needed to go there. And just to, you know, maybe put a little different spin on what Mark is saying, Mark Meadows, um, yeah, we'd like to go further, but we don't really need to. We have all the votes we need. You know, we won the state. If you took, these are the most minimal numbers, the numbers that I gave you. Those are numbers that are certified, your absentee ballots sent to vacant addresses, your, your out-of-state voters, 4,925. You know, when you add them up, it's many more times, it's many times the 11,770. So now why does he need the man to give him some more votes? You know, all of it is so insane that no sane and rational human being can pick logic out of this conversation other than you're dealing with a criminal mind. And for those of y'all who are okay with this, then there's a good spot in hell for you as well. And I hope you join Donald Trump and burn in hell. Because you definitely deserve it. To sit there and lie to the American people and to know that you're lying. And to be so drunk with power or anticipating power that you're willing to do something like this I'm done with you. Whether you are Ray J, whether you are, um, uh, like I said, Angela Stanton, any of y'all who are trying to get people to vote for Donald Trump, to put him back in office, all this. And you don't have to put the titles away. Put the Democratic Party and the Republican Party away. This is not how you conduct yourself as a leader of the free world. Now that's what I gotta say about it. And that's what I mean 